workout number two of this week. This time, nice full body AMRAP of 15 minutes involving three movements. Two parts of the warm up today, one to get the heart rate going, one to open up the shoulders and the legs. First one is gonna be a combination of high knees, butt kickers and mountain climbers and we're gonna do a little ladder. Start with 10 reps, then do 20, then 30, 40 and 50 of each. So stand up tall, get your high knees, so knees come above your hips every single time. Then butt kickers, hands below your butt, heels come to the back, 10 reps and you finish with mountain climbers, high plank, Shoulders are above your hands, and you're gonna pull in the legs, alternate between left and right. Complete the full ladder until you've hit 50 reps of each. Now your heart rate is nice and up. Next part, three movements again for three rounds, starting with four negative push ups. Either on your hands and your feet or on your hands and your knees. Hands are straight below the shoulders, nice and tight plank, and in about five seconds, I'm gonna slowly lower myself down, bring my elbows to the back, and drop when I'm on the floor. Scoot yourself up through your belly, collect four reps. Then, to warm up the legs, we're gonna do some split squats. Stand up tall, one foot in front, one in the back, my feet are at shoulder width. And for eight reps, I'm gonna bring my back knee to the floor, come up, back knee comes to the floor, and push up. Knee stays above your foot, we're gonna do eight reps on each leg. Last one is gonna be a Russian twist. We're all gonna take 10 seconds to grab an item you can use. I'm going to grab my water bottle. Get onto the floor, feet are off the floor. You grab your item and you're gonna twist from left to right. Collect 12 reps, do three rounds, and then we're on and we can go into the workout. So no matter which level you choose today, it's going to be a 15 minute AMRAP. So make sure you have a timer at hand, set it to 15 minutes. For beginners, we're going to keep the reps a little lower, smaller volume, quick rounds. And we're going to start with five box or couch pushups. So make sure you have a chair, you have a couch, or you have a ridge that's about in between your knees and your hip height. Get into a high plank, hands and shoulder width. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, move your chest down, push yourself up. Collect five reps and then go straight into 10 air squats. Feet below the shoulders, weight in the heels, push the knees out. 10 reps. You finish the round with some mountain climbers, 20 reps, high plank. And find a nice pace. Try to find a pace you can hold on to for 15 minutes. First couple of minutes will feel fine. After that, it gets harder and harder, and you try to keep up. Intermediate is gonna go for 15 normal push-ups. So we take away the couch or the chair, and we're gonna get straight onto the floor. High plank, tuck your elbows next to your body. Whole body comes down with you to the floor, and you collect 15 reps. Then we're gonna switch to the air squats as well. Volume goes up. We're gonna go for 30 repetitions. Last one is also going to be the mountain climbers, but we're moving up the volume, 45 reps. If you go for experience, rep scheme stays the same, but we make the push-ups even harder by going for pipe push-ups. That means you get into a downward facing dog, little triangle with your body, and you're gonna bring the top of your head to the floor. Push my hips up, chest come to my knees, from there, I make a tripod and I press my chest towards my knees for 15 reps. 30 air squats, 45 mountain climbers to finish off your round, 15 minute AMRAP as well. Once you're done, take a second to catch your breath, still warm, drink some water, and then we're gonna get into the cool down. After you've caught up with your breath, drank some water, we're gonna go into the stretches for today. Single leg saddle poses. That means get onto the floor, one foot is in front of your body, and the other one bend to the side. Now you're gonna get down to the back on your elbows if you can, and if you're a little bit more flexible, maybe even flat on the floor. You're gonna feel a stretch along your hip flexors and your quad. You're gonna keep this for two minutes on each side. Abba, that wraps it up for this week. 
Have fun, log your scores, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!